everyone, the Game Chief here. Today we're going to be going over how to create a super simple Discord kill feed for your Daisy server using CF Tools Cloud so that you can get a simple but expansive Discord kill feed system just like this one right here. Alrighty, and let's cover some very quick requirements that you need to have in place already. You must already have a working server, of course. Again, I have a video on using Omega Manager if you are interested in that subject. Super simple stuff though. And then you must also have your server set up with CF Tools Cloud already. Again, there's already something on that, it's linked below. And also just cover what CF Tools Cloud is and setting it all up and all that, uh, kind of going through it all. And then the final requirement is to have the Game Labs add-on installed onto the server already. If you have CF Tools Cloud, you likely already have this installed and set up to go. If not, again, I'll link a resource video below. And now that we got those requirements out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. As you can see, I am on the CF Tools Cloud webpage. We're going to go ahead and sign in. And now that we're signed in, we're going to go ahead and manage our server. And then we're going to go ahead and go over to integrations. And then we can do web hooks here. I am on the free plan currently, so you can only have one of them, which is perfectly fine. So we're going to create a new web hook. And then it's going to ask us for the URL. So we're going to need to go ahead and set that up. So we'll go and open up Discord here. And then you can see some testing ones right here. Also the reporter mod, if you haven't seen that, check it out. And we're gonna go into our server settings, go to our integrations, webhooks, create webhook. And then we can give this a name. And then I went ahead and gave this, you know, a name of CF Tools Cloud Kill Feed and Test. We're gonna go and copy that URL and save our changes. And then we're going to go ahead and go back into Firefox here and to our CF Tools dashboard. We're going to paste that link in here. I'll delete this later. Don't worry about it. Don't give that to other people. And then it's going to ask you what type of payload it's going to be using. It's a Discord webhook. So we're going to be using Discord and we're going to deploy that. It'll show that our webhook has been deployed. We'll press OK. And then we're going to go ahead and expand it. And then it lets you choose some things like the avatar URL. So this is the image the avatar is going to use, which is fine. And then we're also going to have to give it a name. And if we look in here, you can actually see, you know, right here it shows that our bot that we made, that the webhook has been set up. And I'm going to go ahead and just name this again, CF Tools Cloud Kill Feed. And then that's a good name that it's going to use. And then we got to choose what events it's going to trigger on. So the one that we're looking for is player.kill. So this is going to cover all the kills and player deaths and stuff like that. You can actually go into this a bunch of different things, like when people join, when they leave, um, that may be covered later on or something along those lines. And then what we're going to be looking for here is probably just player kill. You can do if they're killed by the environment, by an explosion, if they starve, get hit by another object. But for now, what we're just going to use is player.kill. And we can go into these templates here and we can actually see exactly how it's going to work. So we'll do a bunch of different things here. And if we scroll down to player.kill, you see that it's going to go ahead and grab the victim name. It's going to link them to their profile and then say got killed by the murderer, link to the murderer's profile. And then it's going to also tell you the weapon and at the distance. And then all these are customizable as well. You can update variables, use other things, add new stuff you want to, totally up to you. We didn't make any changes, so we don't need to save. We'll close out of that. And then I'm also going to enable player.suicide as well. So we're going to test these two. So let's go ahead and save that. And it's been saved. And now we're going to go ahead and jump in game and test this out. Alrighty, and now that we are in game, I'm going to go ahead and test this. We got a friend here to kind of join us, make sure this is all working properly. So I'm just going to let him know to head on over. And then we'll kill them, verify it all shows up in the log and all that. Alrighty, and then there we go. And then what we'll go ahead and do is we'll take a look at the Discord and see the changes. And then if we have a look here, you can see it drops it in here. It says the person who got killed by the person who did killing, the weapon, the distance, and these are also, you know, links to CF Tool Cloud. So you can take a look. So I'm going to go ahead and, you know, copy my profile name. And then by pasting that link and going into here, it just brings me to my profile page. So super simple. And then let's go and test it the other way around. 
And then we're just gonna do the exact same thing again, the other way around, just make sure everything looks good. Just gonna go on a casual little jog on over here. Oh. <laughs> the daisy experience, of course. And if we check again, we can see the new entry here. Again, super fast, the other way around, shows the, you know how far, the weapon, all that fun stuff. And let's test that final one real fast as well. And the last thing we're going to do is just make sure that last notification is working. So we're just kind of going to jog on over here, walk around the corner. Yep. Mm hmm. Alrighty. Well, let's check on that. And as we can see, yep, it's definitely in there. Logged. Looks all good to us. And that is about it. Nice and simple and easy to set up. As always, if there's anything important that was missed or anything I need to mention, it'll be in the pinned comment below. And of course, as it always, thanks to the Patreons, those people are always awesome, especially those over the last few months that I haven't uploaded. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or join the Discord server below, which is always in the video description. I recommend checking out the support channel if you need any help with this or other Daisy related stuff. And as always, if you have any video suggestions, feel free to leave a comment below and have a good one.